Gravesend Australia Diecast Salvage, where we get to play with Matchbox Cars, Dinky Toys, Foggy Toys, Majorette, and quite a number of other different brands that are out there. Adult supervision required at all times. You just never know what's going to pop up on your screen. Content on this channel is aimed at the adult community as it contains strippers. So hot, you'll take the paint of vehicles. <laughs> Nudity. Naked vehicles. And a man playing with his tools. What else is he going to do? We've got strippers and we've got nude cars. Just play with something. Here are some of our previous attempts to give these vehicles a new lease of life. And I think I did a not a bad job if I do say so myself. But there's always room for improvement. So come along to see what's in today's episode at Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. of Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. In this episode we are doing a Diecast and Modelers Community Event for July which is Any Farm Vehicle. Now these vehicles that we're seeing in front of you here are farm vehicles that will carry hay, all sorts of supplies to and from the property. So let's take them over to the temporary workbench and we'll have a closer look at it. So here we are at the temporary workbench which does look like the same as the last one but it is temporary and if you notice that the intro to these vehicles um, the background was slightly different because I am in the midst of now starting to make a another platform to showcase the vehicles. Anyway, I'm waffling on again. Let's get into what we have in front of us here for the Diecast of the Modelers community. Any farm vehicle event. I'm going to be doing these dinky toys. Fordson. Made in England. Meccano Limited. This one here, I'll try and restore to a as close a green as possible. I do have a few greens. This is the exact exact same model, except somebody has overpainted it or repainted it, and it is showing signs of wear. Plus, it's missing a tire. No glass, no interiors on either of these vehicles so I don't have to do any polishing they both have hooks tow hooks on the back tyres are in a reasonable condition but we only have three in here and these ones we'll take a closer look at when I pull it apart I think we have one flat spot on the on the tire here so need to make one maybe two or we make a whole set of tires they help help try again I'll stick my teeth in not that we're dentures or I need to do an adjustment on, on my tongue might be a better phrase than stick your teeth in boy anyway we have one two posts that hold the front axle in and we have a post that holds the tow hook in that one I might, might just leave alone don't need to change any of that the front of the base I will take off and 
and have a be better look at it. But then again, I may just leave it as it is. Why take it? Why take something apart when you don't really need to? Like I said, there's no interior, no glass to worry about. Hopefully, and I'll say this with jest, that these are going to be something easy and simple. So I'll have to make some loads to go for these vehicles. But um, I have something in mind. Anyway, we'll catch you on the next segment. Okay, so... As we saw in our introduction, that the tyres on both of these were no good. So in the background, I've made my own tyres. And if you go back through my other videos, you'll, you'll see how I made them. So here we go with the reveal. Just making silicon mould and then using a product that is a urethane rubber. And it squeezes out of a, a corking gun and and we make our tires so all I need to do now is cut them out and we shall fit them and I'll do that off camera because it does get a bit fiddly and as I said earlier we are in a temporary temporary mode get that right way around in temporary mode so um, I can't move around it like I normally do anyway waffling on I'll get these tires cut out what I'm using it will be a pair of shears and pincers and uh, we'll be back shortly and there we have one tire made so I've got a bit of cleaning up to do on the inside and I've got three more to go oh dear oh dear oh dear I was hoping to do these two vehicles for the DMC any farm vehicle event but as I was doing a bit of clean up on this one to get these to get the roof line right uh, we have a broken A pillar and it looks like it's been broken from corrosion So what I'll do is I will set this this one aside because of the time constraints of Doing the challenge because we I'm supposed to have this finished by now, but work commitments have have slowed me up and the time of videoing I have to um, I'm about to go to bed, um, grab about uh, four hours sleep so I can head off to Victoria for a delivery there and I'll be back in a couple of days. And that is the day where the um, this video was actually supposed to go up and have everything finished. So what we'll do is we'll concentrate on this one. Um, tires, are, tires are already made for it so all we need to do with this one is strip it and uh, give it a better paint job all right we'll catch you over at the venue okay we'll continue on anyway I will strip the car with the busted pillar might as well do it now but we won't do the a pillar repair in this video I'll do that off camera at a later time so we're just going to concentrate on the red truck our strippers are ready oh my so we'll just let that settle down we're not going to see all that much because of the murky water it has taken a lot of paint off by the looks of things. So, not that we can see much, but it must be doing something because they are colour water. Anyway, we'll come back with a shiny, shiny nude vehicle. So, see you then.
Okay, so this is a first for me to see the casting after it's come out to caustic soda to be a uniform greyish colour. As you can see, this, this one here is still a little bit wet on the tray from the from the wash, but um, on but on both vehicles, exactly the same. Usually, you see. A little bit like here, a bit shiny shiny, well I shouldn't say shiny shiny, but not as dark as, as the rest. Anyway, I'll um, be using my usual tools, here we go, <sighs> using the rust wire brush and also this scourer, I'll do that off camera and we'll come back to a shiny car so here are both both the trucks in their total nudity so next we'll be putting on a primer and then we'll get a painting onto this truck under this truck this one we shall put aside so we can fix up the broken pillar like I said I'm on a time constraint so um, we'll just have to do one truck catch you in a moment okay we have this one in primer so let's see what sort of a mess I can do with this experimental color so here we go Change my hand around. On this color. Just change my hand position again. Trying to try, hey, stay back there. Okay, so okay, so you get the idea of what we're gonna do. Turn that noise maker off. I'll finish this off camera, and you'll see this at the reveal. So here's the reveal of the Dinky Toys Fortson yeah, uh, truck. 
that I've entered into the DMC July event with any farm vehicle. I'm ready to take my goods to market. So we've got a few barrels on top, extra barrels on top. We've given this car some new headlights, some jewelled ones. We've painted some detailed indicators on the front that were clear. Painted the grill, painted the bumper. We've given it some new, new homemade rubbers, tyres. And we've given it some jewelled tail lights as well. Now, my tarp is made from a piece of tissue that I painted on a 50-50 mix of PVA glue and water. And I've given it a, a coat of paint as well. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And thank you for subscribing if you have. And continue watching. I'm still working on the other Fordson that is missing the A-pillar. But that's a video that might come up another day. So, again, hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like. And we'll catch you on the next round on Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. Those of you that have stuck around to the end, you're getting a bonus feature. What I didn't show was how I made my cargo area and the product I use from the craft shop. That's the poly assorted poly beads to make some drums. I'll show you those steps and then I will show you how I make my tart. Catch you in a moment. If you look down here, all I've done is put a piece of masking tape on the on the mat, and then I'm just taking my my bead, which can look like a barrel, a 44 gallon drum or 20 22 litre drum, and all I'm doing is placing it on the on the sticky tape or masking tape, if you like just to hold it in place because I already know from from here that I know it's, it's it is five barrels and it goes three across and now with a piece of of a toothpick or a straighten out paper clip I'm going to use some urethane glue to go in between the barrels and hold that together. So we'll come back in a moment. The polyurethane glue has now set, so we now have our barrels. So I'm just going to give them a, a quick spray of paint and then we'll move on to put making a tarp. So we're moving on to the next stage and all I'm using is one sheet of toilet paper. Yes, that's right, toilet paper. A lot easier to get to than, uh, than what the tissue was. So all we're doing is putting that over the top. Let's try and get it a little bit like that and then with a mixture 50 50 mix of pva glue and water and using a hairy stick we're just going to apply it now this idea i got from everard junction and i've used it once before on on, an, on another project and that was the any military vehicle um, that I did a, a couple of months ago so. doesn't matter if it breaks because you can always add on 
And here, in this case, I've, I've probably got enough to fold over. And that's all it is. And then once that has dried, we shall put some rope on. And the rope that I'll use is actually a brickies line, bricklayers um, line that they use to lay their bricks up against. So anyway, we'll um, let this dry and we'll be back shortly. And so here we are at reveal number two. So if you stay, stay with us long enough, you're lucky enough to see both vehicles get done, which I didn't think we'd be able to do. So this is the Dinky Fordson. We put in new dual headlights. They never had them. Been repainted. New tyres on this one. We put a load on it. We have strapped it down. We put some tail lights on it. This one we've got some new tail lights. We've taken out the middle pillar, A pillar. What am I saying? Middle A pillar. <clears throat> the centre screen pillar. We put a load on it, as you just saw in our update. We put some tail lights on it. Please, I'm rushing through this. I shouldn't have to. The black and white one is the one that had the broken A pillar. So that's been repaired. And we've made it into a single screen, as opposed to a split screen Dodge Fordson. Again, like the other one, we've given it some dual headlights. We've refurbished the tyres on this one. We've just made the load for it. And we have dual tail lights. Again, thank you very much for watching this episode of Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.